So if you're on the internet and you write Go or any kind of programming language, you probably keep up with certain news on things that are new in whatever tech bubble you find yourself. You want to find out about trending GitHub repositories, tools, frameworks that might be new and innovative and helpful. But the question is, how do you find these? How do you keep up with the ever changing tech world? Well, if you are a Go developer, I may have some good news for you. TechWatch, how to find and discover Go libraries. Hello, strangers. How do you find and discover Go libraries, especially those that are not mainstream? Where do you find those. Thank you. And there's a really good link here. This is similar to awesome go, but with star, this helps you select popular libraries based on stars, which GitHub stars, good indicator for you to see if something is good or not. Like for example, go blueprints almost at 2000 stars right here. Go ahead and start links in the description below. But if we go back to awesome go with stars, you can see well, if you scroll down all the different frameworks, tools, libraries for almost every kind of functionality you may come across if you're building applications using Go. And it is quite a extensive updated library or repository a collection, if you will. You can see here we have, for example, a GUI libraries building GUI applications. And you can see a fine with 23,000. So if you click this, open this in the new link, you get fine 23.3 K stars. And it kind of gives you everything about it. Fine is an easy to use UI toolkit and app API written in Go. So I think this is something that's super, super useful when you are faced with the problem of, well, dang, now I want to find out a new library to use and you go on Google, you do your whole quest, you find things, you don't find things, it's all good. I think this is actually something super useful because it's maintained by the community as well, which is super, super useful. And there's just really good ways to diagnose things that you want and just really good ways to select things that you want to use. But this begs a, a bigger question of, well, how do you even go through and pick the best ones? Are GitHub stars really the best way for you to choose something? And a good example of this is actually in the authentication OWAT section. You can see here, if we're basing just on stars, we'd pick Casbin, which has 16,870 stars. I'm sure it's great. It looks like it's still maintained. It looks pretty nice, pretty proper. Great. But if you've watched this channel before, you know that I've made an entire OAuth video using Goth, G-O-T-H. Let me quickly open this up. Made by Mark Bates, a multi-provider authentication for Go. Video will be in the description down below. Go ahead and check it out. And you can see, well, this only has 5,000 stars only, whereas Casbin has 16 9, almost 17,000, almost triple the amount of stars. So why didn't I use Casbin? Or why didn't I use JWT-Go or OAuth 2? And the point that I'm trying to make here is that you should not just subscribe to the package that has the most stars on GitHub, nor should you subscribe to the package that somebody just wishy-washy recommends and you just dive for it and, and use it. What you should do and how I would treat this resource, this, this entire awesome go with stars is I would use use the GitHub stars as a method for me to filter out other projects. And by that, I mean, again, with the example of Casbin, I would look at this, I would see how many stars it has, I would see how old it is, and I'll begin my process of like, well, is this something I want to dive deeper in? It's maintained three weeks ago, looks pretty good. Goth by Mark Bates also maintained three weeks ago. That's good. I can start filtering down from this giant list of OAuth providers, which ones I think are maintained, have a good response from the community, have active issues and are being responded with. And then from that list, I can just kind of filter it down. I'd see the example, see which one makes most sense and particularly see which one actually works best for me. So for example, jwt.go, jot.go is a full feature implementation of JSON web tokens. This library supports the parsing and verification as well as the generation and signing of jots. Whereas Goth provides a simple, clean, idiomatic way to use OAuth and OAuth 2 and those multiple providers out of the box. So there is a bit of a difference between these two packages within the authentication and OAuth umbrella in awesome go with stars. That's also something that you have to pay attention to. Overall though, I think anything driven by the community is always a good way for you to choose and maybe select and research deeper into particular frameworks when you wanna adopt them into your code base. And again, take everything that people say with a pinch of salt 
always do your own research. If people are saying, oh, use an ORM, use an ORM, use an ORM, and you're like, well, I don't really need to, then you probably don't. If everyone is saying you should use this library for authentication, maybe check it out, maybe double check. Why is that? Is there a way I can use a standard library? Does this give me something I don't necessarily need? And I know this is particularly talking about Go. It's from the r slash Golang Reddit and awesome Go is obviously about Go packages, but this should apply to other programming languages, other programming communities. So yeah, I hope this video was helpful. I think if you are new to Go and you want to find a really good resource of different frameworks that exist in the ecosystem that are available, go check out Awesome Go with stars. All these links will be in the description down below. You can actually click Awesome Go. If you're curious, Awesome Go is 2.8 thousand stars. It's the same thing, but it just has the actual GitHub stars beside these packages, which may help, may not, you know, both will be available to you. I hope you all liked this video. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. If you enjoy Go, then this is definitely the channel for you. Hope you guys have a good one. And as always, you got to power it.